something wrong with being gassy. Hey guys, welcome back to Video Game Losers. Today we are doing a retro review of one of my favorite arcade games of all time. It came out on a bunch of home platforms, but we're not talking about the home platform versions. We're talking about the classic arcade version of Rolling Thunder. Originally released in 1986 to the arcades, Rolling Thunder was created by Namco and ran on their System 86 hardware. Outside of Japan, it was distributed by Atari Games. Basically, the player takes control of Albatross, who's a member of the World Crime Police Organization's Rolling Thunder Espionage Unit. Albatross is on a mission to save Leah Blitz from a secret society named Geldra, located in New York. The main enemies of Rolling Thunder are hooded soldiers known as Maskers. Maskers basically look like clansmen in different multicolored outfits. Depending on what color their outfit is, they may have different abilities like throwing grenades or being able to shoot while ducking. Player starts out with a regular pistol, but as the game goes on, you can find a machine gun and you can find various other bullets to use along the way. As the game gets more difficult, you move beyond the maskers and run into other enemies such as mutated bats, panthers, blogas, and lava men. At the end of the game, you do a final battle with the Geldra leader, Mabu, and you rescue Leela and complete the mission. You ever wanted to be a spy? No. No? Never? If it's a spy like that, no. Why? What's wrong with being a spy like that? What's right with being a spy like that? Because he's sneaking in and shooting all the clansmen. What's wrong with, what's wrong with shooting clansmen? That's what First I want. First of all, he looks a little, uh, what's the word? Unusual, and, <laughs> and he—he's uh, got a little pellet gun. He rolls around. What's so special about this guy? I don't know. I love this game. This is one of those games I can Tell remember. Tell me why you love this game. Playing at the arcade over and over. One, I love the graphics. Everything is silky smooth on this game. I love the colors, uh, the bad guys with the different outfits. Like that was always—you know—when you're a kid and you've got the action figure, and then they release like the other version of the action figure, where instead of having like a blue chest, he's got the orange chest now. And you're like, oh, I gotta have that to go with the other one. Like, that was this whole game. Like, all the bad guys were the clansmen, but with different colors, and then what outfits they had would depend on what weapons they had. So then it was like they would come with a different accessory. So you just wanted to shoot them all. It's like collecting the toys. You just wanted to shoot all the bad guys. Um, I think the graphics on here is what made me not like it. Really? Yes. I thought it was great. Like, the, the characters were big. The poly, you know, poly graphics or whatever, just not, I was never big into it. Just yeah, like but, I, that's the but for the time, for coming out in like 97 or 87, 88, whenever it was, I mean, th those were good graphics for the time. Terrible game. You could but... look up, you could look down, you would crouch, you would jump, and they all looked good. But it was a terrible game. No, it was a great game. The soundtrack was great. I love the music in the game. Um, the, the animations were all silky smooth, like he's jumping through the air, landing, crouch, do the jump up, doing the shoot, looking up, doing the jump up to the thing, shooting the guy, crouching, shooting, walking through the door. Like all the animations were smooth, it was great, and I love the gameplay, because the only limitation on the gameplay is your skill. Like at no point is it one of those things where they do something cheap where you have to put in another quarter and you know there's never anything like oh you forgot something you got to go back and get it. Like it's always just as long as you can duck and move you're going to keep going. Isn't that how all games work? No. Because a lot of times you got to search for something weird or you know and there are other games like Spy vs. Spy where you're searching for stuff. It's not linear like that. It's not just like a straight moving run and gun. Like I like the run and gun type games. And this was great. I love this game. You like sports? Yes, football. Football's my game. Because I'm built like a linebacker. Isn't running again a basketball game? Is, is it? Is. I think it is. is it? It's like NBA Jam. Is it? Well, mm -hmm. hmm. I, I'm a baller. What can I say when it comes to Rolling Thunder Arcade? Well, this game for me was just a bunch of shooting and jumping around like any other game, a thousand other games like it during the time period. Yeah, but it did it so much better. And it just the had, graphics it had were so much weird... better. The animation was so much smoother. Maybe, the sound was so much maybe... better. Maybe... Well, I don't know. I don't even play the sound. But maybe if, if back then uh, the graphics were like different, so you're like, ah. Oh. But watching it back now, I'm like, this is pretty uh, remedial. There's the word. Well, okay. Anytime <laughs> you're looking at a retro game, it's no, not, not going to look as good. Not true. Because some of the Super Nintendo games I look at when I go back, I'm like, wow, these are pretty nice. Yeah, but that looks look the, the shading on the characters. 
Well, I'm not an artist like you, but I just think that they just look funny. I think that I think the backgrounds look great as you go through the different levels. Um, you probably played like the NES version instead of the arcade version, and that's probably part of the problem. You played the wrong one. Isn't that the same thing? No! No! <laughs> We're here to talk about the arcade version! That's not the same You're version. disqualified. That's not the same version. You're disqualified. Listen, for being for retro arcade game, I'm giving this one four out of five. Love this game. It's on my list of great games of all time. Four out of five. I'm just going to give it a three because it's an average game. Just average. You're disqualified. Your vote doesn't count. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, guys. Don't forget, you can check out shoppcn.com where you can buy video games. We sell lots of them, like there's a whole wall's worth and a bunch over here that you can't see and some over there that you can't see. And then there's some over there and over there and over there that you can't see. But we sell a lot of them here. We also got Blu-rays. We got comic books. We got toys. We got DVDs. We got CDs. We got My Little Ponies. Do we have any Monster Highs? We're all out of those. All out of Monster High, though. Sorry. Can't play that one. But lots of stuff here, so make sure you go to Shop PC and check it out. Make sure you go to popculturenetwork.com and check out all our reviews of video games and toys and comic books and whatever else that we happen to throw up there sometimes. Just videos of him dancing with no shirt on. Terrible arcade game reviews. Oh, come on. All right. That's going to wrap it for this time, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.